Hi, welcome to this tutorial on integrating functions of the form ax plus b to the power n where a and b are constants and n is any rational power other than minus 1. So what kind of functions are we talking about when we look at something like this? Well the most obvious might seem to be integrating something like 3x plus 2 to the power 4 with respect to x. But it does also cover functions like this 7 over 5x minus 1 all cubed because we can think of this as 7 times the integral of 1 over 5x minus 1 all cubed. And when you've got 1 over 5x minus 1 all cubed you can bring it up and write it as 5x minus 1 to the power minus 3 and we integrate that with respect to x and you can see it's got this particular format. Our n is minus 3 and a is 5 and the b value is minus 1. Not only have we got types like this but we'll be able to integrate root functions or cube root functions and so on because this can be written in this format as well. The 4 can be brought out the front of the integral because it's a constant and then we can think of the square root of 7x minus 3 as 7x minus 3 all to the power half integrated with respect to x. And so you can see that our power n is a rational number and it's not equal to minus 1. And we've got the form in the bracket of ax plus b where a is the 7 and b is the minus 3. OK, so how do we integrate functions like these? Well, let's start with integrating the 3x plus 2 to the power 4 with respect to x. It comes from differentiating essentially y equals 3x plus 2 to the power 5. I'm assuming that you're familiar with differentiating functions like this by the chain rule. It's where we let t equal the 3x plus 2. And to get dy by dx, we need to do dy by dt times dt by dx. So if y equals t to the 5, we would get 5t to the 4 when we find dy by dt. So 5t, t being the 3x plus 2, to the power 4. Then we have to times it by dt dx, that is the differential of what t was, which in this case was 3x plus 2. If you differentiate 3x plus 2 with respect to x, you get 3. And tidying this up, you get 15 times 3x plus 2 to the power 4. Now, can you see that if we had to integrate this, it would be 3x plus 2 to the power 5. But we're not integrating this, we're integrating just 3x plus 2 to the power 4. So, if I was to multiply this by a constant, 1 over 15, then that 1 15th would remain in this particular differential. It would come down through here and what we would end up with is that those two 15s would cancel and would be just left with 3x plus 2 to the power 4 which is what we needed to integrate. So can you see then that if I add 1 to the power here for the 3x plus 2 we've got 3x plus 2 to the power 5 but if I was to differentiate that I would get a 5 at the front and a 3 making 15. I didn't want that 15 so I need to divide out that 15 or multiply by 1 15th. So this is what we need to do, this is what we need to think of when we integrate something of the form ax plus b to the power n. And don't forget that constant of integration c which I put in as well. Well let's see how we can use this for this one. 
Well, the seven's going to stay at the front. But if I was to think about what would I need to have differentiated to return 5x minus 1 to the power minus 3? Well, it's going to have to be 5x minus 1 to the power minus 2. Or is it? If I was to differentiate this, I would end up with a minus 2 at the front times the 5, the differential of this. In other words, I would end up with minus 10 stuck at the front here. Now, I don't want that minus 10, so I need to cancel it out by timesing it by minus 1 tenth. So I'm going to put that underneath there as minus 1 tenth. Don't forget that constant of integration. So if I tidy this up now, I'm going to get minus 7 tenths of 5x minus 1 to the power minus 2 plus the constant of integration. You might want to tidy this up further rather than leaving it to the power minus 2. You might want to think of this as 1 over 5x minus 1 squared. And that would mean that when you times it with the minus 7 tenths, you end up with minus 7 all over 10 times 5x minus 1 to the power 2. And then you've got that constant of integration plus c. OK, well, let's go on to this example, which we changed. We changed this one into the form ax plus b to the power n. We took the 4 out to the front of the integral, and now we've got 7x minus 3 to the power half. So, when we come to integrate this, the 4 stays there. We add 1 to the power here, a half, so we're going to have 7x minus 3 to the power 1 and a half, but leave it as a top heavy fraction, power 3 over 2. Now, when it comes to differentiating this, we would end up with a 3 over 2 at the front and a 7, 7 times 3 over 2. But we don't want that 7 times 3 over 2, so I need to divide it out. I need to divide this by the 7 and the 3 over 2. And don't forget that constant of integration, plus c. Now this looks a bit ugly. This is 21 over 2. And if I divide 4 by 21 over 2, what I get is 8 over 21. 8 over 21 then times the 7x minus 3 to the power 3 over 2. And then we plus the constant of integration. You might even want to write this in root format. Okay, This would be 8 over 21. And 7x minus 3 to the power 3 over 2 can be thought of as the square root, because of the 2 here, the square root of 7x minus 3 all cubed. And then we got the plus c. So to integrate something of this particular form, what we need to do is realize that all we do is just write down the ax plus b, but we add 1 to the power. So we add 1 to that power n, giving us n plus 1. And then realize that when we would differentiate this, we would end up with an a times an n plus 1 at the front here. We don't want that, so we need to divide it out. So it would be 1 over a times n plus 1. And then we've got that constant of integration. Now, this is not an easy idea. It does take a lot of practice to get to grips with. But I would encourage you to understand the method more so than just applying this formula. Understand why we're dividing by this constant. Okay, well, it's not enough just to 
see these examples, it's very important that you have a go at some yourself. So what follows is a set of integrals that I've devised. Try and work through them and uh, if you get stuck, check your methods with my work solutions. And that appears in my next video. So good luck with that.